folks. Thanks for tuning in to MA Lineman 24. Sunday, it's 53. 50 something, I don't know, it's nice out here. I just parked my car, took a jog across here, I hunted already. I just found a wheat scent. So I figure I'd get it on film. I think it's 1921. Hey, feels good to be out here. Ooh, Sunday, 63 tomorrow. But I gotta work. All right, man, have fun. Find something cool, send me a picture. Thanks. My neighbor had a doorbell that made that same chime sound. Well, except for the clock tones. Three, should be four o'clock, no, five, should be five o'clock. Uh oh, four o'clock. They forgot to set the clock ahead, folks. Last night was daylight savings time. All right, later. All right, found something else cool. Let's go and take a look. It's a little lock, I think. It was heavy, heavy brass. I mean, heavy. There's something about uh, Filqua's Supreme Service. I'm not sure. This is a uh, made in the USA on the lock. With uh, something underneath it. UL maybe. Or three. I'm not sure. Old paddle lock. Still pretty cool. Heavy duty. Never seen that name before though. All right. Let's see what else I can find before it gets dark. Which should be seven o'clock tonight, huh? All right, I'll see you soon. All right, it's almost time, six o'clock. The bells should start playing any minute. I'm on my way back to the car. It's over there somewhere, right by the tree. But uh, I got a deep signal, but it was loud. Oh, well, I call that one, huh? But uh, I think it's a buggy brake. I'm not sure. Got folded over somehow. Pretty interesting, though. Mm, cool. Let's see if I can find anything else from here to there. All right, five minutes to six o'clock. I gotta get home. I got a premiere video at 7.30, I think. See you there. Start playing the tune. I had to, I had to start recording again. All right, later. Back to the car now. Just got a slamming signal deep and down in that hole. I'm gonna run over and get my uh, wet stuff there. The old ting, little billy spit. Thank you there, Jeremiah. Jeremiah from J3B. Appreciate it, buddy. Ting. Because guess what, guys? I think I did it for 2020. My first silver of the year, baby. I'm hoping. I didn't check the markings yet. I gotta look at it through the magnifying glass. Let's go and take a look. Ooh, she was down about seven inches. I plucked her out. I said, what the heck is that? I think it was an earring, maybe. Not sure. I think there's a stone in it. Not quite sure. Let me get a picture. I'll turn over and see if I can pull it off. And I'll see if we can find some numbers on it, markings, anything. Hold on. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in and watching today's episode. I do appreciate it. 
But please, please, please watch this wrap up. It's very, very, very important. Very important news. Hey, I just found the, this 2007D. Completed that page. Once I complete these two pages, I'll be giving this book away. So stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, I went back to the church that I hunted all last fall. Been there like seven times now. Found 18 neckerchief slides. The last night I did an area I did already. I still pulled five wheat cents. I'm sorry, seven wheat cents on all this trash. That was a good signal. Whew. Holy cow. Aluminum, good signal. But these for me on the Equinox ring in as a, as a uh, 12, just like a nickel. These little beaver tail parts. This rings in like a 13, 14, so I know it's one of the rings. Square tabs, though, for me, ringing in as like a 17. So I know it's that most of the time. Not always, folks. That's the important part. Hold on, I'll show you. I also pulled three dimes. Man, that Knox is a, is a dime sniffer as well. I also pulled five, six wheat cents. I found 1914, 20, 24, 28, 52, and a 55 double die. No, it's not a double die, but it is a 55. Found this beautiful Phillips. It's not Phillips. Phil Quaz. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. P H I L Q A S. Q U S? I don't know. Maybe it's a G? I don't know. Phil Gus? Suburban Service. There's a paddle lock. Heavy, heavy brass. This thing ran for like a 34. I thought for sure I had my half dollar or silver dollar. Nope, it was down about six, eight inches, and it was that. But uh, I also found this cool little piece here. I think it was a brake. It wore off, you know, the brake pad, and it got crushed. Well, that's what I think that is, or I just went on the end of the buggy pole on one or the other. Found this beautiful smoked, heavy, thick, dark glass uh, in one of the holes, as well as this army tank wheels and set up for a track. <laughs> but, folks, the reason I said this is important... <laughs> I got five feet from my car, getting ready to leave. I got another 17. I'm thinking that thing right there. I dug it. It wasn't that. You ready? My first silver of the year. It's Taiwan JX925. And uh, it's full of these red rubies or gardens, whatever they are. I got to find out. Very, very nice. Heavy piece. I was so, so thrilled with that. But that's why, folks... When they say dig it all, they mean it. Because this came in as a square tab and you just don't know with jewelry. So please, dig it all. We'll be happy you did. Alright folks, that's for today's wrap up. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good time watching. I had fun at the church. It was 53 degrees out Sunday after work and it was glad to get out. So glad to get out. Alright, thanks folks. We'll talk to you soon. And remember this is a live premiere. So maybe I'll uh, throw in some pictures and music. Let you guys hang out for a little while longer. All right, keep it clean, Jersey. Later. All right, real quick, I don't know if you'd be interested in any of this stuff. It's all NASCAR stuff. Bunch of collectible tins of Jeff Gordon's. Got a plastic model car, brand new, not built. A huge uh, bank. A tin. I have a bunch of matchbox of NASCARs in here, all different kinds. Probably 50 of them in the tin. I got the original truck. Craftsman Truck Series truck, Painted Lake Gordon's car, driven by Scott Legassi. More tins with playing cards. These are gold cards, special edition. All gold metal cards of Jeff Gordon's. All kinds of posters. This holds over 50 of uh, Smoke and Joe racing. 50 uh, matchbox cars of NASCARs. There's little compartments inside, three different layers, uh, different 18 wheelers, all kinds of special edition ones, big ones, uh, Pepsi ones, special Pepsi posters, Pepsi cars. Everything's brand new in the package, still not even opened. Got a whole uh, mug set, shot glass, coffee mug, Christmas ornaments. You name it. Special edition uh, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, all the different years that they sponsored and who. License plates. Everything's new, folks. Let me know if you're interested in any of it. Christmas ornaments. All kinds of stuff. Probably got over 3,000 invested. Trying to get 500 for all of it. Let me know.
All right, ready?